Hello everyone and welcome back to Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. I'm just now noticing how close we are to being over encumbered again. Um now yeah, let's just continue on and then we'll warp back when we gotta. So I think uh, last episode at one point I said um that I still that I actually own this game on Um Hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> So, I, I've mentioned a few times in this playthrough that I actually owned this game on PS2 as a kid. Um, and I actually went down to my collection and I actually found, um, I found the, uh, the old case for it. Like, I, I found the physical copy and that was kind of cool to see. <laughs> um, I, I boot, or I, um, I opened it up and I actually took out the manual I did a little bit of reading through it, like I said it would, like I said I would like to. Um, I think the first thing of note is that one of the pages immediately fell out because it, it is just that old. I was not paying attention. I straight up just died. <laughs> Game manuals from that era are very strange, honestly. Like, you can tell the people writing them haven't actually played the full game, I, I, like, most of the time. It honestly feels like they were just given, like, a list of stuff in the game. Or, like, a list of stuff the devs want them to talk about, and then they just, you know, they just wrote about it. <laughs> so there are, like, you get things like, like, really weird, like, um, changes, or, like, uh, just, just information that's straight up wrong sometimes. Like, one that kind of stuck out to me was, for some reason, they kept calling the, the human archer the arcane archer. That was a little strange. Um, there's a part in the manual where they, uh, they, um, they detail a couple characters, and for some reason, like, the, the bartender lady, they called her, like, lady in quotation marks. And then, like, her name, which just... That, that feels a little rude. I, I don't know what that's, what that's supposed to imply. I just banished that, man. Uh, okay, I am... I am out of health potions. Okay. How am I over-encumbered and out of health potions? There's another one in there. There we go. Yeah, you. Oh! Oh, I have to melee you. There we go. Okay. Um... <laughs> There's a part where they, like, detail a bunch of enemies, and I swear there are some spoilers in here. Um... And one of the enemies they show, they have, like, a picture of each enemy, and for one of them, I swear the enemy is literally just A-posing. <laughs> There's also a part in the manual that kind of made me chuckle, actually, like... There's a part where where they give you just a bunch of little tips for playing the game, and one of them is called like "Take It Slow," and it it literally just says like if if you are at low life, just wait in an empty room because your health naturally regens. Which, I mean, that's definitely like a desperate strategy, but like the fact that the game outright recommends just standing in place to get your health back is really funny to me. Nice. I love banishing. Banishing monsters. I hope I get experience for that, because like sometimes in games when they uh when you have like an instant kill attack, they just ne negate um experience you get from that encounter. So what happened to my mini map? There we go. I think I hit the wrong button at some point. There was also a page that described a bunch of, like, the different types of weapons. And something I found kind of cool is that every weapon, like, every weapon, like, weight had a different, like, combo path, if that makes sense. 
Oh my god. Bro, just angle your fingers down. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, no, you're, you still have an arm. You're not going to come at me. Or you're missing an arm. We are recording, right? Um, yes, okay. I kind of get paranoid with, like, with like full-screen games. Um, I'm using a lot of potions, so I'm actually... Oh, potions and arrows, so I'm actually... I actually have less, um, weight now. I would like to look through this real quick, because I noticed I got a lot of enchantment, like... I, I got, like, a bunch of enchanted... Yeah, 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 those right there. Okay, that's actually the same. I don't know, at this point in the game, the, the the gloves and the hats and the boots, they give you, like, one defense, two defense. It's kind of comical, honestly. So, like, if I just get anything that looks like it could have any enchantment whatsoever, I think it's worth looking at real quick. Your arm fell off, so I know you're not going to come at me. Well, that's certainly a way to use uh, your fire magic. <laughs> uh oh. God, can one of these guys drop a health potion? Oh, oh. Nice! Oh, okay. I get through the door, then we'll fight. Banished. And we're at full uh, capacity again. Okay, I think that's everything. How many recall potions do I have? I have one. Oh, I got two more rings as well. Where are they? Oh no, that's the buy menu. I, uh, oops.
Hey, right, cool. We're back down to like 70 weight again. If you need something to split someone's skull or a helm to protect your own, you'll come to the right place. And I kind of want to just keep saving up for later. When we start to get to the second chapter of the game, we're going to get like a whole bunch of uh, brand new stuff we can buy. Honestly, I don't I think like this kind of stuff is going to be power crap by the time we get out of here, so I'm not really too worried about getting it right right this second. Yeah, that we can't even use. That'd be kind of cool, but like, I feel like the kind of thing we have right now is nice enough. That might be nice to get, actually. Hold on, hold on. What does our current bow look like? Four to eight. That's real bad. I don't use archery that often, but for a boost that big, it might be worth it. Um, I'm going to say no, though. Oh, we can give this back to you as well. Oh, no, we already did your mission, right? I swear you get to talk to that guy at, at some point. Also, I'm trying something a little, like, different. Whenever I load back in in such a way that, like, my controller would disconnect um, beforehand, I'm trying to, like, rotate the analog stick. Like, my, my thinking is, like, if if the... Ooh, oh, this looks ominous. My thinking is that if, um, if the controller, like, detects it as active, maybe it won't disconnect. If that does work, uh, then once again, Wiggle Strats uh, saves the day again. Oh, this part! Oh, I think I remember that. This part is cool. Hold on. So yeah, this is technically the first boss of the game. The Orb of the Undead. This is a cool fight because, like... I think the simplest I describe it is, like, a reverse tower defense. Where basically it, like, summons all of these, like, minions. And you have to, like, kill them all. And then go after the, um... And then go after... Uh, the orb. Kind of like a, a, a mob rush fight as well. Like, these are literally just enemies we've been fighting this entire area. But, you know, I kind of like this fight. I don't know, man. It's weird that the boss is an artifact. Like, that's kind of interesting. I can't really say I see that very often. Uh oh Ah! God damn it. Uh... <laughs> Guys, I didn't do the wiggle strat. There we go. Okay. I gotta be careful for this. Oh. Okay, get away. Maybe these are stronger variants of enemies we've seen, because, like, they're doing a lot of damage. Since I want to keep my distance, maybe the other spell might be better. Eh, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I like that damage over time effect, even if I don't, it doesn't really activate that often. I 
I know I've played a lot of this game because I can do little strats like that. It's like pot shot then jump away. That feels like something like a lot of players wouldn't really figure out unless they have like a billion hours in this game. <laughs> I don't want to use all my potions, or all my mana potions, because I feel like there's going to be multiple phases to this. Yeah, I only have two left. That was a mistake. Okay, only three left. Ah. Oh, nice. Nice. Every potion helps. Okay, okay, go after the orb again. You're under half health. Though honestly, so am I to a certain extent. did a lot. I kind of want to check something real quick. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, huh. I don't know why, but I thought that would like give them health bars or something, but no, it just verbatim like is telling me when it when the, the damage over time stuff is doing one damage. Okay now. I hey I, I do love RPG stuff, but I think that might just be a little distracting. Yeah, worth checking out though. I make for a good thumbnail. Every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. Oh, oh, oh I got stuck on the fireplace. Oops. Okay, that's another one gone. That one dropped a potion. Gotta go grab that real quick. Oh, that didn't hit anyone. Health potion, great. Oh, 
good. Even better. Arrows. Back up to full health again, which is also a good sign. And there are so few at this point that we could probably melee this. What'd you drop? Padded Helm. Why the heck not? Okay, okay. I think one more um, wave will be enough to take care uh, to take out this thing. Yep, okay. I don't know if it's possible to kill it in like three three turns or less. It might be. Maybe you need someone with like a stronger melee game to pull that off. I bet the the dwarf could do that. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, now I have no qualms using the rest of my potions, because we're pretty much done with this fight as soon as we defeat this round. arrows. Nice. Tuh. Oh my god. Okay, now it's just you. Nice. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> oh, I like the look of that, actually. There we go! <laughs> look at that big explosion of light! Oh my goodness! That lighting engine, dude. Okay. <laughs> You've done it. I feared that we were lost. Oh, Ilmatter has truly sent you to us in our darkest hour. Where did this foul orb come from? I found this map on the body of this thief. I think he entered the crypts through the sewers and placed the orb here. I don't know, Fabe, but I intend to find out. This is grave news. I appreciate all you have done for us. Please, accept this as a small token of our temple's thanks. I will consult with our remaining priests and see if they can determine who was behind this evil act. I will send someone to you should we discover anything. Wait for a messenger at the Elf Song Tavern. We will contact you should we learn anything. 
Very well, I'll go to the El Song and wait word in a wait and wait word from you there. Amulet of Protection. Oh, okay, okay, now we have five points. Melts Acid Arrow. A magical arrow of acid springs from your hands and spreads it um, to its target dealing acid damage. That sounds like a poison attack. That might be kind of awesome to have, actually. Um, okay. Stuff down here, as always, is great to have. I mean, it's cliche to go for the, the brand new spell as soon as we get it, right? I kind of want Lightning Bolt. That sounds kind of fun. Ooh. Oh my god, that's that's like Sword Wall. <laughs> or like Spikes. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, we don't have to get anything. We can like like just wait to level up again, and then we'll have like plus five on top of this, and maybe we get one of the super overpowered stuff really early. That sounds exactly the same as Burning Hands. I think I'll go ahead and get this. And then we'll save for now. Let's go ahead and grab the few spoils we got from this fight. Um... Plus two, dexterity. What is protection plus? Dexterity is plus two armor. I think just plus two protection might be better. I mean, it's worth more, so it might just be better anyway. Padded helm. Our helm is better. I love the, like, little blue streaks around this arena. I really do. Like, this is a pretty looking area. Or just, like, a dank hole of dead people. Like, this place actually does look quite nice. Given once you turn the brightness up. Okay, let's recall back. Um, let's unplug and then plug back in our controller. Yeah, the guy we gotta talk to is obviously right there, but... Huh. My weapon should prove useful if you run across any more of the walking dead. <laughs> we have many fine deals. What are you looking for? That's a cool looking um amulet right there. Oh, wait, wait, I should buy another recall potion as well. There we go. Okay. Alrighty then, um, let's talk to you. Jerick. I never noticed he had a fully modeled belt buckle. What do you mean? Your actions in the temple showed great courage and sacrifice. A willingness to risk your life to protect others. An admirable quality. Ethan and I are members of the Harpers. A group whose members have... Harpers? Oh no, Minecraft story mode? Wait. <laughs> I invite you to join us. We seek men and women of courage to band with us to protect the realms when the realms cannot protect itself. As a Harper, you will have our support. We will do what we can to help you in the realms. We are in need of your help against the grave threat to Baldur's Gate. What say you? It would be an honor. This is not a decision to be made lightly. I will need some time to think about it. I prefer to work on my own. 
I don't remember what this does exactly. Uh... I do like the name Harper a lot. You know, we'll go for it. Oh, we get a side quest for doing that. The orb you encountered in the temple was placed there for a reason. It was intended to sow chaos. To also, look at the inside of his hood. It's like red and green. That's a weird color choice. The dead man you found in the room with the orb was a thief. He was a member of a thieves' guild, a new guild that has appeared in Baldur's Gate. This guild follows the symbol of a bloody eye. They left their mark on the bodies of two city watchmen murdered several days ago. This guild has declared war on the existing Baldur's Gate Thieves Guild. In the past few days, many of the old guild's members have vanished. Dead, most likely. Huh. Did you want me to stop this guild? That may be asking too much. Our greatest concern to us is the rumor of powerful magic. Perhaps a mage, or several mages. The power of the orb in the Shrine of Suffering is proof of this. Whatever the source of this new guild's strength, we would like you to infiltrate the guild and find out who or what is behind it. Very well, Jarek. I'll see what I can uncover. Excellent. Another agent of ours tracked one of the thieves to a secret guild entrance below the city. It's a secret door on the first level of the sewers in the northeast section. We have no idea how to open the door, however. It bears a special enchantment that is proof against most magics. I found this strange key on the dead thief's body. Could it operate the door? Let me see it. Ah, yes, a curious item. It seems to bear a minor enchantment that dispels shadows, but the enchantment in the key is dormant. Perhaps its close proximity to the orb disrupted the enchantment. Maybe. I may be able to open oh. it. Ah, there we are. Huh. The function is intended now. Simply bring it close to the secret door in the sewers. The key will reveal the door and allow you to open it. Please be careful. These thieves have already killed some of the city watch. They will not hesitate to kill you if you're discovered. I'll be careful, Jarek. Farewell. Can I talk to you yet? Monkeys? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please, leave me be. I found the body of a thief in the crypts. I fear your man did not survive the power of the orb he had stolen. It will serve you and keep you from his fate. Thank you. I have my sympathies for your loss. Farewell. Ring of protection and more experience. Uh, we probably have better at this point. Yeah, it's worth the same in everything. I wish this game had better rewards for the side quests. I don't know, man. Like, this game is lucky it's easy to just do them along the way, because otherwise I really wouldn't see a point to doing them outside of completion. Wait, you're new? What's your deal? Yaria. I, I like your design. Let's move on. Unless my misfortune attach itself to you. What do you mean? Surely you've heard of the thieves plaguing Baldur's Gate? Well, one of them waylaid the merchant caravan I was guarding while we were- You don't say the word waylaid that often. What happened? They came upon us in the night, slaughtered several guards, and made off with most of the caravan's goods, including a box of rare spices from Om. I was hoping that I could track down the thieves and set the matter right by at least recovering the box of spices. I was coming to the city, I had no luck tracking down their guild. I seek these thieves just as you do. If I come across your box of spices, I'll let you know. 
luck as I've had. Carry my best wishes with you in any event. I don't recall if I've ever seen this person back here. Okay, she's kind of shoved to the side, and I've talked about how, like, I typically, how I used to play this game on a very dark CRT. Maybe I just straight up missed her? That's always a possibility. Huh. How goes your mission against the thieves? I'm still working on it. Okay, you don't have anything new to say? Welcome back. Something I can get for you? Okay. So we gotta go back down to the sewers. Down the cellar. Um, kind of crazy, but wasn't there a way to the sewers from here? I need to see if a speedrunner of this game... Yep, here we go. I need to see if a speedrunner of this game, uh... Oh, the wiggle strat didn't work. I still have to unplug, replug back in my controller. I need to see if a speedrunner of this game actually does, in fact, um, just just jump all over the place. Something about it just feels a frame faster, you know? How did I remember where this was? Oh my god, I played this too much as a kid. Well, here we go! Thieves Guild time! Oh, look on the ground, that eye sigil. Oh my god, I never noticed that as a kid. That was a very quick bow animation. Yep. Xantem is a beholder! Okay, when I was a kid, this is the first time I've ever seen a beholder. This thing, like, actually really scared me. Like, that is a Freaky design for that guy. God damn it. Okay. I think it's really cool as well. Like, it's kind of brilliant because the game does foreshadow beholders a lot. Like, it says that, um, like, you know, eyes or, like, the sigil of the, the guild is, like, a bloody eye. There's, like, a beholder trophy in the first area. Like, obviously the game is hinting at you that beholders are a thing in this universe, and the guy just had, the guy has like a super deep voice, so I kind of assumed that like he would just be like a like an ancient wizard or something, but I don't know, the fact that I've never seen a beholder before, also these men have the stupidest AI. I died anyway, but you know what I mean? Like you saw that. <laughs> what time are we at anyway? Oh we only at like 40 minutes, so I'll, I'll keep going. I really like Xantam. I don't know, like, that. that is a twist that really, like, <laughs> like, really caught me by surprise as a kid. I'm gonna try something stupid. I'm gonna make a little wall so these guys can't get to me. I unironically love these box physics. This is so dumb. <laughs> this is my kind of stupid. I love it. Alright. Alright. I dare you to try and get through this. You! <laughs>
That is so funny. It looks like my MP is restoring faster. Oh god, they can push the boxes too. My power is too weak. Guys, she's gaining on us. <laughs> she keeps gaining ground. Oh no! Oh no, 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 no. Get back in there. No, you don't. My power's too weak. Oh, die! God. My power's too weak. Your power's too weak. Oh my God. Okay, okay. My power's too weak. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, I think he almost figured it out. <laughs> My guy, I'm right here. I'll take that. Ooh. Oh, you attack kind of quickly. Okay. Let's go save again real quick. I think this is the final dungeon of the first act, actually. If I remember correctly, there are three acts to this game, making for about a 10-hour adventure from what I remember. Weapon racks. Okay, we'll take these, more selling fodder for later. Get a dagger. That cannot be destroyed. No one in here. Oh! Whoa! Oh, another kobold. I mentioned at one point that those things look like they have... They look a little bit like monkeys to me. But like, in the in the manual I mentioned in the earlier in this episode, the game specifically said they, they're dog-like, which I don't really see that, but I, I guess. Where is this lead? I... Oh my god. Well, guys, I, f I found where the hideout is. Guards, you want to come over here? Wait, where is it? Is it just, like, under the box or something? Oh, the, the, the guild's ultimate trap. <laughs> make, make the controller disconnect. Hold on, that might be worth looking at. 9 to 13. Nope, never mind. Oh, oh god, these guys again. Oh, I fire three at a time now. Right. Yeah, because this does get more powerful with, with, like, every two levels. Oh, come on! You're telling me I can't hit them? I have no clue how that hit, but I'll take it. Oh, a knife thrower! That's a new enemy. Huh, this might be the first enemy with both a melee and a ranged attack.
Ooh. I like that rug. Oh. Where are you? You know, am I the only one who, like, feels weird? I don't know how else to word it, like... I don't know, I feel, like, just a little guilty or, like, strange whenever I fight, like, actual humans in a game like this. I don't know, like, you know, like, kobold spiders, like, those are monsters, you know? But we're fighting, like, undeniably, like, another person. Like, there's more humanity to this. Like, this guy probably has, like, a family or, and, like, ambitions in life, you know? So like it feels like I'm just I'm just fighting a guy and it just kind of makes me feel a little guilty because like I, I really did just kill a man. I mean he's evil, but like I don't know like like that separation between like being a monster is not there anymore. It's also kind of like cool because like oh it's this feeling. It's this feeling as if, like, you know, you're fighting, like, really dangerous guys now because you're fighting, like, an actual human and not just, like, a creature. <laughs> oh, this, this feeling does also make it, like, kind of also a little silly when you have, like... When you have, like, say, an example uh, something like this where there's only, like, three different variants to the humans, so, so some of them literally just look identical. And also, like, if their AI is just really dumb... <laughs> Like, you can sell me on a kobold standing in place and throwing spears at you, despite the fact that that's clearly not working. But, like, with a person, I just kind of question... I just kind of question, like, if he's okay. I don't know why, that kind of feels like the kind of opinion I would be dunked on for having, I don't know. It feels like something like a games journalist would write an article about, but then gamers TMs would tell them to shut up, it's just a game. I don't know, I don't know, man. Also, what the hell is this design? I thought this guy had, like, dreadlocks at first, but, like, he's clearly wearing a hood as well. Is that hair? I don't, I don't get what, what this hat or this headwear is supposed to be. Is it straps? I don't get it. I don't get it, man. Oh, ah, I didn't... Okay, oh, all of you throw knives. Alrighty, then. We're gonna play that game. I'll see how many of these I can... How much damage I can do with this. Is it an Uncanny Valley issue? I don't know, like... It's just like a weird opinion I've always had when it comes to like fighting actual humans in games like this. Oh come on, you're telling me I can't hit him through those? I should probably go to Magic Missile for this. Yeah. Oh my god, that's a lot of guys. Ooh.
and I'm out of MP. Um. Okay, they're clearly too dumb to get over here. Let's see what's in this room. Ooh, health potions. Always appreciated. Want to step in the fire? Oh, that, okay, the table counts as a solid object. That's why that wasn't really working. And why I could probably jump over those if I really wanted to. Oh, I'm out of, okay, okay. I don't think, I, I, I don't want to melee these guys. I, I feel like that would be a terrible idea. I really don't think I have any other choice than just wait. While we're here, I kind of want to maybe look up, like, the IMDB for this game, maybe. Yeah, yeah, let's see what we can find. I don't know, man. Xantam's voice sounds oddly familiar. Maybe I could find something kind of interesting. Boulders. Gate. Dark Alliance. IMDB. Oh, no, no, full cast and crew. Cast. Okay, Karn is Michael Bell. Oh. Oh, Jim Cummings is in this game! <laughs> wait, Greg Griffin? Wait, 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 didn't she voice someone in Minecraft story mode? Wait! <laughs> I, oh god, it keeps wanting me to go to the app. Yeah, yeah, that's the voice of Eligard! Oh my god, that's so funny. Jennifer Hale is Aleth. Oh my god, they got like an A- they got like some- some popular people for this. My power's too weak. Xantam is- oh, Xantam and Ethan are voiced by the same person. Tony J. Let's see if I recognize any of these roles. He's Frollo from The Hunchback of Notre Dame. You know, thinking about it, I do hear that. I haven't seen that movie in ages, but I have played Dream Drop Distance recently, which I'm going to assume does a, does a sound alike. My power's too weak. How are none of these guys dead yet? He's also the voice of the Sher Khan. How do you pronounce this? Like the tiger from Jungle Book. Why is this only in reboot? My sister loves that series. I gotta ask her who this character is at some point. <laughs> There's a credit here called Y2K the game, but like it's not Yik. It's just a game called Y2K the game. What the heck is that game? I might have to look that up at some point. I can't seem to find the guy who voices the um the shopkeeper on here, which is kind of unfortunate because that's kind of who I want to see the most. Dude, that's so funny, though, that Eligard, that a, a person who voices a character, and this is also the voice of Eligard, that's a recall potion. I don't really need that. Ah, desperate times call for desperate measures, you know? I think we'll leave this off next time I get to a, uh, to a save point.
of magic missile. You know, thinking about it, I kind of wish this game had some kind of mechanic that made it easier to get MP back. Maybe, it, maybe you can make it like a like a class specific character. It could be something exclusive to the elf. In the back of my head, I'm thinking like maybe they could do what they did in like the original Kingdom Hearts, where like every hit you take or every hit you heal gives you a little bit of MP back, and that would actually like very much play in tune of a character like this because it. In a game like this, um, MP usage kind of has to be very give and take. And I think that would really emphasize that. Like, it, it would make it so, like, you actually do get a little bit of reward for, for, for like, going in and actually doing a bit of melee before, um, before you actually cast your magic. And make it so stuff like this would be less li likely to happen, too. Her power's too weak. Oh, there's a Baldur's Gate wiki. Okay, let's see if there's any voice actors on here. This page needs your help to improve. Yeah, I can't imagine the Baldur's Gate wiki gets a lot of traffic. I don't know. <laughs> Deep Bradley Baker plays a few roles in this? What? Oh my god, every Minecraft story mode character is in here. Oh, no, Great Griffin... Oh, wait, 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 okay. Great Delise isn't the character she played, that's like... I guess her old name? Is that like a maiden name or something? Because this game came first, so maybe she married and changed her last name at some point or something. We're getting there, we're getting there. Slowly but surely we're dealing with this. Wait, no. Voice actors from the classic first part of the series, Baldur's Gate. This wiki is set up in a very strange way, I must say. Maybe I look up just Dark Alliance actors on the, uh, the wiki or something.
This game was well received by critics, but fans were divided. Fans of the Ball Spawn Saga were quite vocal about this particular installment. They argued that this game would never be as complex as the original Baldur's Gate, as console games at the time could not be as expansive as PC games. Many argue the AD and D second edition, I'm assuming that's a D and D term, rules are modified to work with this game. Fans also voiced their concerns about the lack of character creation. Many argue that a lack of a character creator will make the game less of a role-playing game as previous Baldur's Gate games allowed the broad range of character customization, whereas this game did not. For many reasons, fans do not consider Dark Alliance a part of the original games. I swear to God, the more I read... Oh, there's another one. The more I read about Baldur's Gate, the more I actually want to go back to these original games. Because I did not know they had a character creator, and, like, they're, they're describing it here as being a lot more deep than this game, and, like... I kind of like how this game plays, and I do love a deep RPG, so maybe it'd be like a cool middle ground for me to get into. Oh yeah, this game also has like a Game Boy Advance port. Obviously it can't be that good, right? Like, how do you translate something like this to a Game Boy Advance game? I'll have to look into that at some point. I hope it's not like what the Gauntlet Dark Legacy Game Boy Advance game does, where it just, it is terrible. Oh god, every time one of those hits a wall, I just feel like my time has been wasted. <laughs> Oh, there's another one. When they get down to, like, two, I'll feel comfortable meleeing this. Oh, there we go. My power's too weak. Okay, let's go in. I kind of forgot the buttons. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I killed all your friends, buddy. Stood behind a wall for like 10 to 15 minutes. I am not letting you kill me after all that. There we go. Oh boy, I probably could have handled that better. Um... Oh, okay, and there's the next save point right there. I think I'm gonna go... No, 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 I, I should... I should save. Ooh! I should clear out this room, actually. I shouldn't have moved the boxes. Ugh. Oh god. I need to separate you guys somehow. That guy decided to want to be king of the hill. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's wiggling.
That was risky. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> This looks like a room that would have a lot of treasure in it. No, it's just a normal bedroom? Alright. <laughs> I love how every time you take something off of those, it just goes flying into the air before hitting the ground. I don't know. Okay, good. My power's too weak. Hey, don't go that way, it's a dead end. a second to realize he was on fire. You know, is it just me? Does the game give you iframes when you're, like, mid-combo? I kind of like that detail, actually. It makes melee a little more viable, I notice, or I find. Oh, that's a bomb. Oh, that's a bomb, too. Are we close to being over-encumbered? Not necessarily. That one isn't a bomb. Oh, the exit to the next area is up right over there. Okay, we'll clear out this floor then, and then we'll we'll call it a day. Ooh! Oh, I forgot about that! That's a new enemy! Okay. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah, you really don't want to melee that thing. Because they come up to you and, like, they explode. Almost like a creeper.
Like, what is that? It's kind of scary looking. God, that texture on the inside is so visceral, too. It seems like any hit whatsoever will take care of them, though. My power's too Obviously, the game wants you to use arrows, I think. That's not necessarily possible for us right now. There's another one. There's a bunch right there. Ooh, I thought I had enough. I'm curious about something. Oh god, okay, blocking does not- does not help against that. Oh, I thought that would hit. Oh, any kind of- oh, there's a spice box! Okay. Oh, this is fun. That's fun. That's fun. <laughs> One of those arrows has got to be better than what we have, honestly. That was a cool little treasure room. Really cool way to introduce a new enemy, too. Okay, four to eight. Five to nine. That is an upgrade. And the battle axe we can't equip at all. We don't need five recall potions. Ring of intelligence. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm I'm a mage. I think that's objectively best to put on. Yeah, that's that's more max energy. That's great. So that means more magic. All right, let's try the wiggle strat. Kind of worked there. All right, let's give the spice box back. I found a box of rare spices in the thieves guild. That may be what you were looking for. Here you are. Thank you, farewell. Iron Shield. I have, no room for that. I have no room for that. We'll pick that up in a second. Uh Word is you're taking on that new thieves to Watch your back. <laughs> Watch your back. That's a lot of good dude. When we get to the to the next act, we're gonna be able to just instantly buy like half of the best weapons or armor, you know. Now, is this better than what I have? That is better than what I have. Cool, okay. Word is you're taking on that new thieves to Watch your back. And maybe get some armor for it, too. Any of these weapons would be sure to stop a thief dead in his tracks. <laughs> okay. That looks nice if you're taking on the new guild be sure to get them all ooh have long memories ooh I 
when that guy woke up by now we can get like a mission from him? I don't know. Alright, wiggle strat, wiggle strat, wiggle strat, wiggle strat worked! Okay, that might be the way I, I make it so... That might be the way to make it so like you don't have to unplug and replug back in the controller every time. Well, alrighty then. Uh, I will see you folks later. Thanks for watching.